welcome back, everyone, <clears throat> to Red World, Hearts of Iron 4. And it is time to destroy the Canadian Imperialists. Let's go. We declare war on the Canadians. Let's go. Here we are. So, this all looks pretty good. Now, we need to micro our armor. Okay, so here, our armor is uh, busy fighting, so they can't do anything. Here, that's the same. Same here. Same here, unfortunately. Same here. Oh, looks like they had their... They had their own... Um, their own plans already running. Anyway, um, some of our tanks are ready to move. So they are going to... Actually, no. You'll push through like this. And the objective of these two armor divisions is going to be to reach Quebec. And then uh, cut off the East Canada from the West Canada. So yeah, that, that should be pretty fine in and of its own. It looks like the Canadian fleet is out here rather than anywhere else. So that's where we are fighting. And uh, yeah, so like the bigger problem is going to be this 19 division concentration over here. But everyone else is going to be relatively easy. Everywhere else is going to be an easy time pushing, I'd say. Alright, so our divisions are all ready to go and attack towards their objectives. So the armor is going to try to head for the main cities as early as possible. To get some knockout blow on the Canadians. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be rather it's gonna be that possible to like just knock them out instantly, but I mean, you know, British Columbia is 15, Alberta uh, or Regina is free. That's Regina. No, that's Edmonton. Sorry. Uh, Winnipeg is five. Are there any other cities around here? No. So anyway, that's that's. Pretty decent amount, that's 23 VPs. And then the rest we have 10 in Toronto. 20, so that's 30. 33. We have taken 20 VPs. And that's reduced Canada by 20%. So well, how much more do we need to make them surrender? Okay, so we need to make them, we need to reduce it by 60 more percent. I think that should be enough to take all these VPs, actually. Here we are. Canada's called in South Africa. Japan has joined the Democratic League. That is not something I anticipated. I did not anticipate many countries actually joining the Democratic League. That's actually declare one Hawaii while we have time so that we can get our troops heading towards these objectives. And a naval invading before the Japanese can get here, because they have 170 ships and 98, uh, 98 troops, 98 infantry divisions, or just divisions in general. So that's very scary. In terms of other countries that might join the Democratic League, I mean, I don't really see them as much as that much of a threat. Like, you know, uh, we have an army in South America. Actually, two armies? No, only one army. This one is the one that's sweet, but oh, well, this is the reserve for North America. So yeah, I don't really see these other people as not much of a threat, but oh well, we'll see. Looks like the Canadians do have armor, but we're destroying them. Naval combats are going pretty well, which is obviously quite great. And here we are, so we have managed to managed to take Vancouver and uh, and a bunch of these places, so let's go for Vancouver Island with our armor so that we can take the VP as well there. Great, we have managed to capture Edmonton, so the Blitzkrieg has been successful so far. Winnipeg is ours as well. 
In terms of other uh, objectives, we are about to finish the encirclement over here, the cutoff move, although we're going to need to protect our own flanks during that. That's actually... No, we need to take Toronto right now. Because that is going to be very important. We have managed to take Quebec. Though. So that's obviously very good. And this armor unit will advance like this. These infantry units will continue on to Halifax, which is now the new Canadian capital. And Halifax is actually worth free VPs. So that's not that much, but, you know, it is something. So now our troops will move forward, continue to attempt encirclements, doing all they can, really. Excellent. And uh, up here, we have taken the entirety of Vancouver Island. Very, very good. How are our naval invasions faring? So we have one moving up. Right. Then we have this one that's also moving. It's going to take them a long, long time to get to Honolulu. Uh, what about the Eastern Coast one? The Eastern Coast one hasn't launched yet because we haven't secured naval superiority over the Labrador Sea. Oh. Well, I fucked up. Oh, looks like we are we're getting a naval engagement right now. Which, um, yeah, we've lost 21 Corvettes. We've killed three of their Corvettes, nine of their Corvettes, so, oh, not the best. Oh, there we go, there we go. So that was what I was hoping for. The decapitation strike on Canada has succeeded. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. I am enjoying this very, very much. Uh, Alaska is going to capitulate because of our landing, and Hawaii. How many troops did you have? Four. So I can just land on uh, Kahului or Kahului, and if I can build a naval base over here very quickly, then uh, then I'm going to be fine. Now it's time to get our aircraft carriers to be useful. So that we can fight the Japanese if need arises. And uh, apparently Canada still holds this island, whatever it is. Haida Island. Uh, but it's... Eh. Oh, you're fighting. Force attack. Come on. Get the damage in. Yes, it is. It is doing the damage. Do I have... Uh... Do I have any shore bombardment on these guys? Oh, you do have shore bombardment. That's quite excellent. Are there any enemy ships? Yes, there are, but doesn't matter. These units are already all here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be splitting off. So that's 2% shore bombardment. That means I need 12 destroyers. Let's get up here. And get some shore bombardment action. Where's the fleet that just split off? It's over here. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so there's only one infantry in Honolulu, actually. So what I am going to do, I guess, is a... Hey, oh, you... Oh! You select things with this. Well, that's real good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off some destroyers. And get to here, so that I can get the shore bombardment here as well. Yes, minus 25%, very good. Battle in the North Pacific. Oh, the Japanese Navy. Strong. This is really bad, because the Japanese Navy getting here means that 
we might not be able to punch through and they might raid our convoys. We're about to lose the um, we're about to lose the force attack. That might mean bad things for the push in Canada, but I have taken Honolulu. Excellent. So now we take all of this. Right. Very good. So Hawaii is not ours. That means that we can project our entire power into the Pacific. And here, Hawaii capitulates, very good. Here, it's going to be a tough battle with the Japanese. Like, the Corvettes aren't really going to add that much, and the Carriers don't have any planes. But they have more destroyers than we do. So I'm thinking that the Alaskan expedition is going to end in disaster. Ah, oh, well. Uh, let's save our fleet and disengage. Oh wait, what? Apparently the Japanese are leaving. Interesting. That's very good. That is very good. Uh, are there any places where we're getting a naval invade? Probably South America. Naval combat, naval combat. But overall, I'm, the, I'm just not really caring all that much. I can just strategically deploy these guys and... I mean, the one or two mechanized divisions should be enough to deal with the Canadians entirely. Sorry, not the Canadians, the Alaskans. Almost entirely. Like, we are seriously hampering their defense forces over here, but... We're not going to beat them with just this. Very good. We've taken over the entire archipelago over here in Hawaii. Which means that we can rebase our fleet to Hawaii. Which is excellent. Because it means that our western defense is insured. Like Hawaii, yeah, sure, still controls Wake Island. But, and like Midway. But like, what are they going to do with it? And I'm not considering any of those other parts as uh, parts of North America. So, you know, for the purposes of our playthrough, which is to reunite North America, this is all pretty fine. Alrighty then. Big battles. Uh, Chief of the Navy. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm going to get that decisive battle. And there we go. So the arrival of the... The arrival of the armor was enough to save my infantry, which has taken heavy casualties in the fight. Actually, no, not, not really heavy casualties, more like heavy equipment losses. 9,342 troops, 9,300... So that looks like, you know, 2,100 actual casualties. So we've taken Anchorage, and... Uh, what more do we need to take from Alaska to capitulate them? This is all one state. So I guess we just need to take over more of the state. Well, that's weird. Very good. So the fleet that's up here... Get them rebased to Hawaii and repaired. The Japanese Navy has come out to play again and we are seriously sinking them. Not what I was expecting, actually. Although we are getting sunk ourselves quite seriously as well. Now it's time for you to repair. All right. It's time to finish off the Alaskans. And after that, I'm gonna actually end the whole playthrough. I'm gonna call it quits. 
But first I want to destroy the Alaskans, I capitulate them to reunite North America fully. Alright. Wait, what? How did he not get... Well, that's weird. That's a single tile. How did he get control of this? I don't understand. Oh well, that's really weird. Very good. So come on, what more do I need to take from fucking Alaska? <laughs> This is really weird. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess Unalaska counts as one VP, so once I take it, it should be the end of Alaska. Very good. And if I were to continue to defeat the Democratic League, I'd need to defeat Japan. And that would take a while, but it would be relatively doable. I mean, we've got 15 nukes. What I'd do is just, I'd, uh, just, uh, let's see what this, this is Soviet, uh, so I'd probably just kind of island hop in the Pacific, and once I can get, you know, Okinawa and Iwo Jima, I'd get air superiority over Japan, and nuke them into oblivion. But I don't really want to do that right now, because it would take forever, and I've got other playthroughs to run, so I'm just gonna declare victory and call it quits with a united America. Mostly. Just a few handouts remain. Holdouts, like... For some reason, there's a Canadian over here with a port. So he's getting supplied from his allies. There's somehow a Canadian over here. Wait, what? Colombia has Haida Gawaii as a core state. What the bloody hell is Colombia? Oh, it's the state. Apparently, you can release all of the states. Wow. Hey, actually, um, how about we release all of the states that we could? Like, let's annex... Uh, not can. It's probably can, right? Yeah, there we go, we've annexed it. Uh, this, probably Alaska has no, like, revolters or... Uh, yeah, no, no, no tags. Let's actually release everyone that we can, just to see how it would look like. Uh, Nunavut. Northwestern Republic. Yukon, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia, yeah, all the Canadian states, essentially, can be released as countries, which is quite awesome. Quebec, of course, the big one. So that's taking care of Canada. Looks like none of these, unfortunately, actually have leaders. Probably only Canada itself would have a leader. Uh, and they all don't really have unique flags. Uh, they just got the one. Newfoundlander Union. They do have names though. United Republic of Manitoba. Colombian People's Republic. Albertan People's Republic. Northwestern Socialist Union. Yukon Soviet Republic. Because of course. Yeah, I think the game is uh, thinking that it's more likely that uh, the Soviets are releasing these people. I don't know. Maybe. Um, maybe it just sounds good. Trinidad. We can even release Puerto Rico. Wow. Really? Don't we have a core? Don't have a core state. That's weird. How does Trinidad look? The Union of Trinidad and Tobago, with a really good flag, actually. Um, Sul. So that's obviously Brazil, right? Rio Grande do Sul. Sonora. Rio Grande. So. People's Federation of Sul. Then Rio Grande Socialist Union. And Socialist Republic of Sonora. So that's all the Mexicans. Yucatan as well. You can release that, the People's Republic of Yucatan. Uh, that's there's obviously all the American ones, but don't particularly care about those. Um, 
Nicaragua. Do we particularly care about like these people? No, we don't particularly care about showing these people. Uh, Central America, Belizean Republic, New Guyana, Suriname. Nah, all these people are just normal. Yeah, okay, okay. That's pretty fine. Anyway, I'm gonna end the playthrough right now. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed the Union of American People States or Union of American People's Republics or whatever. And um, yeah, next time I'm gonna be visiting Red World. There's gonna be the Europe update. So yeah, that's gonna be something to look forward to. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you soon. Oh, how many people have died in this? Eh. Not even one million. That's disappointing. I was expecting at least one million. Ah, well. See you soon, guys.